Yugiri's game. Alpha Note has a mind to send you to Vesper Bay. As we speak, the Dome is prepared to depart the, yeah, for departure at Vesper Bay, where from they will be transported by carriage to Ulda. That's it, this has all been decided rather suddenly, and it would be not surprise me if the refugees required some assistance in coordinating their preparations. Ermac, I would have you return to Vesper Bay and facilitate the process through tasks great and small. In short, whatever must needs to be done, do it! Do it! Speak with a nam with a man nam with a man named Hozon when you arrive. As Lady Yugiri tells it, he has been de designated the leader of the first group. To Vesper Bay. Woo woo, woo woo. Hey woo, hey woo, hey woo, <laughs> hey woo. We're on the way to Vesper Bay. We're on the way to Vesper Bay. A A A A. We're on the way to Vesper Bay. A A A On the way to Vesper Bay. We are right. Greetings! Alpha No informed me that a sign would be arriving to help with the preparations. I'm honored to meet you, though shamed as well. A great warrior should not be tasked with such trivialities. I... I knew from a glance what manner of man you were. I too have some skill at arms, as do many of our people. Pray forgive this trifle, but might I trouble you to help, help round up the children that have been given into my care? They are most adept at saying hidden out oh, crap. My from my sight, but perhaps you your keen eyes will succeed where I have failed. You have my thanks, friend. Pray seek out my son Yozan. He can tell you more. Freaking freaking kids, man. Freaking freaking kids. There's Yozan. Oh, hello there. I'm Yozan, son of Hozan. Will you be coming with us to Ulda? I hear we're traveling by horse-drawn carriage. But don't you think they're queer? Giant birds that, <laughs> that ride little hor that ride like horses. I still want to try riding one, but... Again, the YouTube. Queer in the context of strange. What's that? You're looking for others. Don't worry. I already told them to get ready for the carriages. I'll need your help, though. We were just finishing a game of hide and seek, and three players are still hiding. And since Lady Yugiri told us to take it really seriously, they won't move until they're found. But Vesper Bay isn't that large, so I bet you can find them in no time. Alright. If I recall, one of them. Yep, it's right up there. Hiding child. How'd you find me? Bah! Guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the gardens didn't find me. There's another. Um, are you playing? Ah, no fair! Yozan didn't say anything about adults! Huh? We get to ride a horse bird carriage? I don't know. It sounds scary. But if Yozan says it's safe, I'll go. Uh, I don't remember where the last one is. Oh, there they are. Hey, you're not Yozan, who are you? I'm Koharu, Farmac. Summers, eh? I didn't know anyone else was... Wait a minute, you're not one of those, um, stallions, aren't you? No, Scions, Scions! Then you must know Lady Yugiri, right? Isn't she great? She's really good at hide-and-seek, too. Oh, right, it's, it's almost time to go. Nice meeting you, Farmac Summers. Does the kid have a little crush on Yugiri? You giddy. Wonderful. All children are accounted. Hide and seek? Ah, I see that you are curious. It is simple, quite it's quite simple, really. Lady Aguri thought it best that the children know what to do in case the garlands found us. I should hope that those days are behind us, but n I nevertheless take comfort in knowing that we are prepared. Alright, so now why we adventure at long last, Hozon and his group are ready to leave Vesper Bay. 
The first caravan is due to depart shortly, followed by the rest at regular intervals. My family and I, including my stubborn old father, Homei, will be traveling in the lead carriage together with young Kuharu, whom I believe you've already met. Though I understand the road to Ulda is regularly patrolled by your brass, uh, brass, brass blades, it would give us great comfort if you would agree to accompany us on our journey. Once again, I thank you for your kindness. When you're ready to leave, please inform our coachman. Korean coachman. Eager to be off, are ye? Hey, well, I was meaning to have a word with you about that. Runner from the Blade says we might have a problem. A fierce looking beastie's been sighted south of the bridge of Hammerley. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on them, of course. But it don't pay to gamble in this business. Now, I know you can handle yourself in a fight. Yourself in a fight. But this lot here is another story, so I was thinking you might go on ahead and have a quick look around. Make sure the area's safe. Like, and if you come across anything dangerous, you know what to do. When you're satisfied, the way is clear. Meet us outside of Horizon. The blades tell me of the road there. The road there is safe, so I reckon we can make it that far on our own. Assuming the self same bastards don't try to rob us, that is. Whoa. All the way over there. Jeez, okay. I kind of vaguely remember this. Are they gonna make me follow the caravan all the way over there? Cause I remember that being a thing. I had to really escort them all the way. And there was like a bunch of quests. Surveying. Should I help that sprout? Hmm. Yeah, I should help that sprout. Every now and then. He's gotta help the sprout out, you know? I helped the sprout. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes it's fun, you know, you just see a sprout on their own, you just want to give them a hand. So there was a beastie, was being the operative word, eh? <laughs> what, what's happening right now? Well fought, sir, well fought. Ah, if only I were in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Pay my son no mind, he forgets that his responsibility preclude acts of daring do. Hmm. Be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. Had we been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma, things would have been very different. <sighs> but we could not change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost but not forgotten. Lady Geary's kinsmen least of all. They fought fierce, fiercest, though they knew full well it was in vain. She had every right to walk away, yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, the promise of a better life, all this and more we owe to her. How does one even begin to repay such a debt? In kind, father, to she who was given everything, we shall give our all. 
Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do without question. Ditch digging, brick laying, it matters not. Revenant's toll will grow and prosper by our hands. <laughs> Knocked the kid out the, the guy out the way. Hey, Mr. Farmack, Koharu and I want to know why you became an adventurer. To gain power, to win glory, to amass fortune. To go what? Whether the the wild room, raw raw wild rose blooms. I mean, I gave some answer in the beginning that was one of these, but I want to go with this one. Make it real cryptic, like. So you like roses? I think I understand. I mean, they're nice and everything, but don't they grow in a lots and in lots of places? It's my turn now. Excuse me, Mr. Farmer, I got a question. What's Reckness Toll like? Is it pretty? It is bustling outposts frequent by countless adventures. It is a bastion of civilian civilization in harsh and unforgiving wilderness. It is a home to signs of the sand, sand, the seventh dawn. It's a stone throw from an imperial castrum. Hey, right, we're not answering that. We're not gonna say signs either. Um, no. Uh, I think, I think the first one might be the best one here. The Salian Seventh Dawn wouldn't have been that bad either. You mean there are lots of people there who are just as strong as you? Oh, I can't wait! Enough, Koharu, it's my turn again. Mr. Farmick, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Best way to come more powerful is to have new experiences and adventures, fight ferocious beasts, train every day. By weapons and armor for from Rowena. Oh no, that's a bad answer. Don't send him down that path. Let's give him the right answer. Of course, to be a better adventurer, you need to go adventuring. All right, all right. That's enough questions for Mr. Firemac. That's not fair. Yozan got to ask two questions. I want to know about adventuring just as much as he does. Just one more, please. Do you think I could be an adventurer like you one day? Of course. Really? Then I will. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Firemac. I won't forget it. I'm going to be an adventurer, too. When we get to Revenant's Toll, let's make an adventurer's guild for Domans. We'll protect our friends and punish the wicked, just like Mr. Farmack and Lady Yugiri. Yeah, just like Mr. Farmack and Lady Yugiri. Oh wait, crap, I thought that was adult that said that. <laughs> Whoops. We can talk more about it in the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? Silent nod. The silent nod of justice. I'll check Discord. <laughs> okay. To the quicksand. Really, you gonna make me do that? You gonna make me do that, man? So I think they did cut it out because I'm pretty sure they made us do a lot more quests on the way. Or they might still do make us do those quests. Like they need to help every few every like section of the way there. Like I remember that being a thing. Um Right, Adventure Skill. Man, all right. I don't want to talk to Wokidi anymore. <laughs> ah, Firemag, I take it the first group has arrived? Excellent. Hmm, is there aught else? No, no, I have matters well in hand here. You and Lady Giri should travel to Revenant's Toll forthwith. All due respect. 
having a Nagiri part of a Revenant's Toll without delay. It is past time Lady Nagiri met with the guild rep representatives in Revenant's Toll. Since I do not foresee any further matters arising here in the Thailand which might require your personal attention, I would instead have you serve as an escort to the Doman delegation for the duration of the journey. Speak first with Slathborn of <laughs> Slathborn upon your arrival. He is the one with whom the Domans will be working with mo bleh, working most closely, I should think. Afterwards, introduce Lady Giri to Menphilia and the Guild Emissary. If both means go well, the resulting ties should stand the Domans in good stead for what is for for that which is to come. Safe travels, Spiramac. Yeah. <clears throat> There's our boy Slathborn. And this must be this esteemed Lady Yugiri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to, to the toll. Why are you always going to do a panning shot from the feet? Hope you do not find our dearth, a dearth of fineries off-putting. Poor though we may seem, we have a wealth of spirit. And camar, oh my god, camaraderie, dearie, camaraderie, I don't know why I'm having struggle. Oh, I don't, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak, to spare. You see, race and creed don't enter into here. We welcome all sorts, provided they are willing to earn their keep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Slathborn. You may rest assured that we will carry out your orders with due vigilance. Oh, not for a moment did I doubt your commitment, my lady. Pray understand, I give the same speech to all new arrivals. You needn't, you needn't bow your head, or call me master either. We are both frontier hands, and as far as I'm concerned... As far as I'm concerned, I don't... How did that come out? Both frontier hands. We're, we're both frontier hands, as far as uh, as I'm concerned. Okay. As you wish, Slathborn. May this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. Whoa. Dang. We put it in the moves on you, Slathborn. Our guests have yet to meet the antecedent. Seven hells, Farmek. Why are you wasting time with me? See them to the rising stones. To whom, to whom much is given, much is expected. Forgive me, I requ require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting with your leader. We shall join you at the Rising Stones, Anon. To the Rising Stones? Ooh. is no use. Our attempts to reach the students of Baldesian continue to meet with failure. Uranje has explored other avenues of in inquiry, but they, but they too have yielded not. We will persevere, of course, yet within our hearts the truth is clear. We are but awaiting confirmation of that which we already know. How fair the Domans. I am given to understand you were kept quite busy in Vesper Bay. Mayhap you question the wisdom of aiding refugees when the primal threat remains unresolved. I should not blame you if you did, nor would I deny that this matter falls outside our normal purview. Be that as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees, not when it was within our power to help them. Lady Geary is here? Please show her in. I should very much like to meet her. Oh. <clears throat> we have no objections. Pray do so with our blessing. Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady. 
but are you quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. In the event that Revenant's toll could not accommodate us all, we would need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. As ever as it has been a pleasure, Antecedent, alas, we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should require aught else, pray speak with Slafborn, Lady. Lady Yugiri, Firemac. Kasa, Kasasagi, and Kikyo. <laughs> Lamin and I will make all the necessary preparations to ensure that our Doman friends feel at home upon their arrival. Though I will must admit that I'm still troubled about the matter of the missing crystals. Your stolas should be returning anon with a report from a field. Mayhap you could wait here and speak with her upon her arrival. How goes the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Oh, thank goodness this is voiced. <laughs> Aye, our suspicions were well founded. The Serpent Reapers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Thalia? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual. Summoning a freak with such crystals as they have hoarded. Urianger too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what, pray tell? For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amelja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Vilbrand. Not Vilbrand. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Vilbrand. Vilbrand. There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh gods, they mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence implicating the Serpent Reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. It is only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, flash my power activate. Oh! It's rare for me to beat us to it. in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. And there is the explanation. Soon. Soon it shall begin. Our Lord shall rise mid surging waves. To wash away the finless one. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity. And with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. <laughs> comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. Hmm. 
the gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You... you shared that vision, did you not? Even before the Sahagin made mention of the Emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. But surely it is not within his power to grant the Echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend to the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady, are you sure this is wise? I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill is afoot. Aye, a primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Oh, right. I almost forgot while I was streaming. The sea rises. Amphila wishes to share some final words on the coming mission prior to departing for Limsa Lominsa. Plainly, should the worst come to pass and Leviathan is summoned, our only recourse will be to face him in battle. Given past experience, you may very well think that eventuality inevitable. inevitable. Yet so long as there is even a chance that the Primal's return might be prevented, we must needs bend all our efforts toward achieving that goal. Before we do aught else, let us hasten to Linsa Loenza and meet with the Admiral. Ad Admiral. She will not have been idle in, intervening, in the intervening time, and will doubtless have valuable information to share. She's right, though. I just got regened. <laughs> I don't know why something's going ham with some regen. Alright, this guy. You're expected, pray, take this lift to the command room. It's Merlewib. Welcome, friends. I take it you still has a prize you on the is on the of the situation. Let us waste no time then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had not crystals enough to summon their god. Alas, we did not count on the serpent reavers venturing as far as Dunland to supplement their cash. For our short-sightedness, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, and we would welcome the science support in this endeavor. 
But if gods forbid, blah, 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 if gods forbid, our efforts should come to naught, and I will need to trouble you for more than mere support, much as I did when Titan last walked these lands. Lady Menphilia, I am given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can only assume that you have you have sound reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral. Admiral. But I would rather not be drawn on in their nature. I will say only that there is something I would see with my own eyes. Is that so? Well, I am not so stubborn as to deny the wish of one whose aid I require, but precaution must be taken. I shall require that you remain by my side at all times. With that settled, let us speak of the operation. Barmek, Maelstrom scouts are currently reconnoitering reconnoitering, reconnoitering Sahagan movements within the sub spawning grounds. Upon completing the mission, they will return to Operation Staging the the yeah. Operation Staging Point at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way there forthwith that you might be a prize of the latest intelligence. Commander Falk Brita Falk Brita has charge of the garrison. So Leviathan's close. Don't remember which uh which um dungeons are mandatory. I know two specific dungeons that are mandatory for this, but I can't remember if there's any others. Bulk Rita. I've been expecting you, Scion of the Seventh Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent Leviathan's return. Scouts in distress. Bulk Rita is growing ever more agitated by the minute. As you may already know, mails from scouts have been dispatched to reconnoiter, reconnoiter the soft still spawning grounds. Though it pains me to admit it, the Maelstrom has never faced a foe of the likes of this before. We must proceed with all due caution. Among other things, they have orders to determine where Leviathan might emerge. Assuming it comes to that. And yet, the return is long overdue. A fear that ill may have befallen them. For better or worse, we must ascertain their fate. If it is not too much to ask, I would have you aid us in, in the search. Five scouts ventured into Sapsa all told. Here, take this flask of restorative to tend to those who may have been wounded. Though it pains me to even consider the notion, if they have perished, circumstances, circumstances permitting, I ask that you recover their bodies. By no means venture too deep into enemy territory. However, we can ill afford to lose you at this point, at this juncture. I was sort of giving her a voice, but kind of abandoned it. <laughs> Bum 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 bum. Or a bum 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 bow bum. Row bun row bun bow row bum row bun row bun row bun. Help somebody of all the times to forget the restorative. Thank you. I owe you my life. We were ambushed by the Serpent Reavers, light, lightly armored as we are. We didn't stand a chance. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the Serpent's Tongue, I'm certain of it. I can make my own way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg you. Um, I think they might be screwed, man. Soldier's corpse. What the heck was happening there? I'm interacting with this corpse 
just by staring at it. Interacting. Interacting. Back to Falk Brito. We're this far away. It might be faster just to teleport to Elport. Maybe? I don't know. Kind of equidistant from where I was. Hmm. I don't know. It probably wasn't worth the teleport. Your return. Thank the navigator. When I learned what you went to the that you went to the serpent's tongue by yourself, I feared you would meet an untimely demise. But tell me, what became of the others? Dear gods, <laughs> these wounds were not intended to kill, but to torture and to mom. That does their sav savagery know no bounds. Enemies are no, they go too far. I dread to think what may have become of the two who remain unaccounted for. I pray that they haven't suffered the same evil fate. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that I owe you my thanks. The price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalizes the details of the operation. The Warhorns are will sound any moment now. Be ready to sally forth when they do. The Gift of Eternity Falkrita awaits the commencement of the operation with barely, barely concealed rage. Thrice damn fishback bastards! I'll kill them slowly and then chase their rotten souls through all seven hells! Yeah, it's barely, barely concealed. <laughs> Peace, Commander. We are here for, for a purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want your mind on the task at hand, Savvy. My apologies, Admiral. You may count on me to keep a clear head. Good. According to our sole surviving scout, the Sahagin and their thralls have already begun to amass at the eighth rate in the in the depths of Sapsa. If we are to act, it must be now. The men are, the men are ready, but await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Sahagin have tight tightened <laughs> tightened tightened security in and around the spawning grounds. A frontal assault is like to be met with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Sapsa Aetherite and eliminate the Sahagan priest presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. The Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Sahagin's Legion or drown pirates at the Serpent's Tongue. Commander, you have charge over this effort. Be mindful that the, that the lay of the land there is devilish for attacking forces. Let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent units fan out to cover their yeah, to cover their flanks. At the self-same moment, a diver diversionary squadron formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshore. And likewise, we'll go. and in likewise, we saw it shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the Sahagin defensive effort. Hmm, can't tell if that was a bug or me just freaking out over nothing. Farming you saw the two of you are to make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The animal's diversion should serve to thin the enemy's defenses, rendering your path less perilous. A small party, I believe, should be able to win through without war without drawing unwarranted attention. Thank great and you agree. Your mission is to lure as many Sahagin as possible out of the spawning grounds. Having done so, take your heels and circle round to join the infiltration unit of Yostola and Firemac. When all has been set in motion, I must I myself shall cut a path to the eighth rate, accompanied by Lady Mithilia, as we as was agreed. Well, don't let them keep you. Don't let me keep you, friends. 
to battle! When last did we fight side by side, Farmic? Too long ago, I warrant. But come, let us away. gotta do it again. Figured this one. Then go this way. Wait, the oh really? Did these spawn? Trying to save some time, damn it. That should count. So there's more now. There we go. There's your Stola. I'm eating you, just Stola. My hand shall heal all your wounds. Pray do not concern yourself, twas but a glancing blow. Come, the Aetherite is close at hand. Let us press on. Civilians both. Did I miss much? This must have been the introduction of the rogue and ninja job now that I think about it. Mental note, pick no quarrel with Domans. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance for efficiency. My boy thing could go. To 
the etherite. You'll forgive me my late. Pirates of Jab. I've been something of liability of late, I know. Tis high time I set about making amends. Not now. Not flashback power. Activate now. I know this sensation. It's the echo. What? Just kill all the sawing in there. Mercenary! 
Oh, the priest is gone. Where, where did he go? What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the rest for the pirates. I may have to recover my local recording, but that's that's my own problem. Worst case scenario, I can just get the the VOD. And this is where it gets stuck, because that's what I noticed. My computer decided to just restart out of nowhere. All right. Let's cut out of that. Alright, we're back in the game. I know it doesn't look like it, but I, I am. I'm back in the game. Okay. Let's just keep going. God save us. He means to unleash a tidal wave. Okay. If we meet Levine on the open sea, we put ourselves at Primal's mercy. We can we must think of a way to face him on equal terms. The gods of this realm are vengeful beings. Tis little wonder the gods fear their kind so. Alright, so I was uh worried I was gonna have to redo the entire thing to catch up again, but Luckily, with the wonders of technology, I don't have to. Though the mission ended in failure, I take solace in the knowledge that Mephilia is unharmed. Had we only arrived about a moment earlier, but there's no time to brood over what might have been. Leviathan is returned, and we must needs find a way to deal with him. <laughs> Understand, I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than aught seen in nature. Enough to raise entire coastal settlements if his last attempt is any guide. We cannot suffer history to be repeated. Yet how in the seven hells are we to prevent it? 